بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين إلى يوم الدين أما بعد Privacy and its importance cannot be highlighted Nowadays is literally no privacy whatsoever People are like a fish, a goldfish, in a bowl. Everything is clearly accessible. So, what levels has this reached that everything is breached? Somebody said, it's not that I have something to hide. It's not that I have something to hide. I have nothing I want you to see. Why should I show you? It's my life. It's private. And the question is, why should I reveal something about myself that will put me in danger? It's my life, my risks. I'll manage it. So... Sometimes a person may question, but why the need of so much details? Yes, because it needs to be spoken about. When it's too late, then people will realize. They say privacy is like sleep, something you don't appreciate until you have to go without it. Until you have to go without it. So in Deen as well, we are prevented from spying, from eavesdropping. وَمَنِ اسْتَمَعَ إِلَى حَدِيثِ قَوْمٍ وَهُمْ لَهُ كَارِهُونَ أَوْ يَفِرُّونَ مِنْهُ Anybody who eavesdrop, who listens to other people's conversation when they don't want that conversation to be heard. Subba fi udhunihi al anuk. So on the day of Qiyamah, molten lead will be poured in his ears. This is a riwayat in Bukhari. And it continues. Woman sawwara suratan wadhiba. And whoever makes a picture, he will be punished. And he will be commanded to breathe life into it, which he will not be able to do. So that's the next stage, because once you eavesdrop, you want to take pictures, you want to record it, etc. So it continues and it gets worse. علما حافظ ابن حجر عسكلاني رحم الله with regards to this as quoted Abu Jamara where he said that any form of accessing information which people don't want you it's confidential then that will fall under the ambit of this hadith likewise he said to the next extent وهو كمن ينظر إليه من خلل الباب even if you look through the people of a door so nowadays you don't need to do that all these secret cameras are breaching our privacy it goes on the dark web and people pay a lot of money that's why it was discussed previously when we go for any function etc and you are forced to stay in a holiday resort a hotel a home for rental make sure you identify if there's no hidden microphones and cameras likewise the, another riwayat in Abu Dawood innaka in ittaba'ata awrat al-nas afsadat hum aw kidda an tufsidahum so if you want to search the faults of people Afsatahum, you will corrupt them or will come close to corrupting them. So, 
people have faults nobody is perfect but that mizaj and mindset of uh, breaching this amanat it's very important and Allama Qurtubi has mentioned an incident of uh, a person who had a sister and she became ill and he used to visit her and she passed away and they buried her. So when in the Qabr, his purse, his wallet fell in the Qabr while they were burying her. So, فَاسْتَعَانَ بِبَعْضِ أَهْلِهِ فَنَبَشُوا قَبْرَهَا so he told his family, this is the problem, this is what happened. So they asked the ulama, yes, you can dig up the grave. So when they opened the qabr, and he's seen inside, فَإِذَا الْقَبْرِ مُشْتَعِلُ النَّارًا Thus, grave was on fire. So he came to the mother, فَقَالَ أَخْبِرْنِ مَا كَانَ Please tell me what? Should my sister do what action that I see in the fire? فَقَالَتْ قَدْ مَاتَتْ She passed away, it's gone. Why you want to bother about it? It's done and dusted. So he insisted and persisted. So she said, كَانَتْ تُؤَخِّرُ الصَّلَاةِ أَنْ مَوَاقِيتِهَا She would delay salat on his fixed time. وَكَانَتْ إِذَا نَامَ الْجِيرَانِ قَامَتْ إِلَىٰ بُيُوتِهِمْ When the neighbors used to go to sleep, then she used to eavesdrop and try to listen in. فَتَجَسَّسْ عَلَيْهِمْ وَتُخْرِجْ أَسْرَارَهُمْ She would spy on them and reveal their secrets. فَقَالَ بِهَذَا هَلَكَ دِسَّهُ She was destroyed. So it's all about akhirat. Do what you need to do to protect your akhirat. So the fitness have overwhelmed us so much that we've become blind, become numb, that we don't even have a clue how far down the line we are, what we consider to be normal. A Sahabi is telling the Tabi'een, إِنَّكُمْ لَتَعْمَلُونَ عَمَالًا You are doing such deeds. It is insignificant. Yeah, a duck it is insignificant, it's small, it's nothing. But in the time of Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam, we would consider it مِنَ muqat Destruction, gone, finished. So that's the era we are in. We shouldn't be caught up with the era or the people of the era. A lady phoned up a, a firm and she said, I want to speak to Mr. Hansen. This is her ex-husband. So the secretary said, I'm sorry, ma'am, but he died last night. It's 10 minutes later again, the same call, same voice. Can I speak to Mr. Hansen? So again, Saturday, I'm afraid, ma'am, that is not possible. As I told you 10 minutes, minutes ago, he passed away last night. Then again, she gets a call. I'd like to speak to Mr. Hansen. So the sector said, look, I've told you twice, he's dead. Why do you keep phoning? Don't you get the point? Don't you understand? So she replied, Sure, definitely I understand. I just enjoy hearing you say it over and over again. She was so happy her husband was gone, her ex. She just wanted a year that he had died. Yeah, a person is taking pleasure. So all these deceptions it's on the next level. Two friends are waiting at the bank queue, gang came in, robbers burst in on the counter, give us the money. Somebody is going to all the people, the customers and, and, and taking their money, the jewelry, the phones. So two friends were there, they were lawyers. So the one lawyer gave the other lawyer all the money that he had him, thousand dollars. He said, yes, the money I owe you. Yes, the money I owe you. So even in that situation, you've been robbed, but you're thinking about benefiting. 
So, uh, where have we gone? How much of itimad and reliance on dunya, acquiring dunya? How long will this continue? Mala Ashwari Tanwi explained in his situation said that his brother, who was Akbar Ali, once wanted to give him a fixed allowance, so he refused. So he told his brother that this will bring me unnecessary worry because I will wait, I will be hopeful on this date you're going to give it to me. And this, for some reason, if you are delayed, then it will give me more stress. So he said, there's no peace in such gifts. Imagine you're somebody who's telling you for doing nothing will give you so much every month and he refused. Then Matanwi told him that Allah grants sustenance from the least expected sources. And there's total itminan, there's raha, there's contentment. So the brother objected. He said, but you give gifts from everybody else, from your brother. So he says, yes, I accept gifts, but it's not fixed. There's no fixed stipends. So then his brother said, then it's fine. So he should re re just randomly send hajjah for Maulana. So privacy, we were busy with emails, etc. So one way, one option is this message will self-destruct. It's a secure auto-deleting message service. Your message gets encrypted and uh, you can even add a password. So uh, between the password and encryption, the security, nobody will be able to track it. Then another option would be to use Proton Mail. Now there's different servers there and different options out there. So each person must see what works best for them. So Proton Mail is a free service. Ideally you want to do a paid service if you want to be more secure, which is hosted in Switzerland. And they have zero knowledge data. So all the emails are encrypted, there's no access, the servers are stored independently, even if a court order, etc. had to had to come, they, they, they're not bound to, to, to release information. Even if they do release whatever information, then uh, it is encrypted. So it's, it's, it's not exposed, nobody can intercept it. So, uh, and likewise, if, if a group of people are using the same communication platform, then it doesn't go outside its circle. So, uh, unlike your Googles and your Microsofts on a court order, all your information is breached. So, email itself by default is not public, but uh, certain precautions can be taken and should be taken. So, we're looking for a zero knowledge environment. And uh, Proton Mail has been audited by third party uh, independent auditors. So, uh, there are other options as well. Likewise, when a person now sets up account and if they've got uh, the Proton Mail paid version, then you would set up few email addresses. One will be your primary email, which you would use yourself, whether you would use your synonyms, whether you would use some other name, but this will be used for your family, friends, it will be your everyday communication. So that's account number one. Account number two is an alias email address. So set up a separate alias email address so that uh, a person now can use this here for vital important messages to people that you know but it will mask your true identity. So, uh, number two, number three, online purchases, other online structures, you need to give an email address. So, this you then you will use a, a maybe call it purchases 2022, for example. And uh, any, anyway, whatever information is stored with third party affiliates, uh, data mining companies etc. because travel related purchases uh, are, are high valued information so uh, so you'll know it's for purchases likewise when you go to a hotel etc. Then a, a, a email address which is completely uh, random without any disclosing any name so you could say 2022 so and so etc. 
So this is where you need to be secure and you don't want to reveal anything. Then one email address and we'll detail, uh, inshallah mention it is where you have a domain with uh, forwarding where all your emails from other accounts come in this one here. So it'll be one as well. And then when you obviously go into the website and you download it, etc., you've got the Proton Mail account. Then you have to be very careful on providing your details and what details can be provided, etc. But when sending an email, then your, your, your name will be attached to each email. So a person should, should you can go into the settings and customize it so that uh, you can change the name, you go to settings, my address is added and you change the name attached to that. Then for different, you've got five accounts, now you want to manage that also. So ideally you want to create folders for each address. So you'll go in your settings, folders, labels, add folder. Then um, you can disable remote images. So some email messages that come in contain tracking pixels which will identify your IP address and device information. So you will go into those settings and uh, disable remote images. Likewise, disabling auto contact storage as well. There's a list of contacts that you send and receive get stored in that and that, that can be profiled. Account accessed. So uh, when you download in this, the software as well, you can go into the normal Proton Mail, which ideally you should be doing. And if somebody is more advanced, they could go to the better uh, version of that, beta at uh, .protonmail.com. So we were saying e email f uh, forwarding, so people have Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, other free accounts as well. But you don't want any activities on this year because they will be monitoring your movement. So as a risk of, of, of malicious, uh, malicious uh, software, etc. So you can't be rely on that. So you can carry on using these accounts, but you will forward all your emails to your new Proton Mail account, which we've identified. Then you can mask your email forwarding. So this is where you can send emails from an alias. So you'll have an alias email, which you can send emails and you can receive emails you can have multi-mail bot pixels, you can have a custom domain, and these are all open source. So uh, for call forwarding, I think you can use blur, a non eddy 33 mail, or simple login. So uh, for example, simple login can be used. So you will create a uni unique email address and then any email sent to these address will be forwarded to your Proton Mail account. So now you're completely anonymous and nobody can track you and trace you. Likewise, merchants, any other services, other stalkers also cannot access your information. So uh, the, the, the pros of simple login is that uh, in just your free version, you've got open source, which is important. Then uh, you've got a mobile app availability as well. So that's, that's, that's easier because many people use the smartphone nowadays. Then unlimited bandwidth, unlimited sending. So these are all pros which will help the person to be anonymous. So we have to be uh, vigilant and cautious. The amal for today is to read Salat on its fixed time advisably for men to be in the masjid before Adhan goes and the ladies in the household, the room which is dedicated for Salah, to be in the Musallah. So even though Adhan is at 1 o'clock, then latest before 1 o'clock, 12.59, to be there ready. Nabi alayhi salatu salam passed by Saba. Hal tadruna ma yaqulu rabbukum? Do you know what your Rabb? Allah is telling you, Allahu wa Rasuluhu a'lam. Allah and His Rasul know best قَالَ وَعِزَّتِي وَجَلَالِي لَا يُسَلِّهَا لِوَقْتِهَا I take an oath by my honor and grandeur Anybody reads it on its time إِلَّا أَدْخَلْتُهُ الْجَنَّةِ Except that I will admit him into paradise وَمَنْ صَلَّاهَا لِغَيْرِ وَقْتِهَا Never reads it on its unprescribed time at the wrong time 
in shi'tu rahimtuhu wa in shi'tu azabtuhu if I wish I will be merciful on him if I wish I will punish him may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq of making amal wa akhiru da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen